Oh snap! Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. So I'm back again for another review for the Flash. This is episode 13, True Colors of the Fourth Season. Um, this episode kicked it off from the last one where we found out that the Warden Wolf found out that the Flash was the Flash, found out Barry was the Flash. Um, even my wife, uh, before I started looking at it, was like, "Yeah, the Warden's got to go because he knows Barry's secret. He ain't gonna live." And sure enough, well. But, um, as far as this episode, I, I, I feel a little bit mixed on this episode. Uh, because I thought that the platform and the premise made a lot of sense, but I would have handled it and written it a totally different way. Uh, so I guess I'll critique off what I think about it, and then I'll tell you what my thoughts were actually going to happen. Because it starts off with Aminette starting to deal with Wolf, getting the metas out, but then Barry, you know, staying focused, like, we need to get out of here. And he never left an illusion that he was just gonna like, all right, let them out and let them go roam and do stuff. But at the same time, he was like, all right, we need to be focused. We all need to get out. Cause she could, he could have easily left, you know, the unlucky girl there. But instead, he made sure everybody got out. And so all the metas rallying behind him. They got through a certain point. And while all this was happening, Ralph, he got visited by one of his friends and basically was like, you're gonna fail them. This is gonna happen eventually. Like, you're going to go back to who you are kind of thing. And I thought that was a pretty good arc for, for Ralph because then he makes this interesting discovery that he can shift his body into whatever. Now, the problem that I have with Ralph shifting into who whatever is like the pigmentation of his skin is only a certain kind of way. And so when he transferred into Wolf, I was like, y'all got to explain this to me scientifically. Normally, y'all explain it to me. And it was ironic that... Uh, Wells was gone, so it was like they did just have to stick to their guns, but then <clears throat> Ralph couldn't keep it together. He did a good job for a little bit, but it's like I couldn't I couldn't even laugh because I couldn't take it seriously and I couldn't take it seriously and I couldn't laugh. Uh, when he was at the bar and trying to, you know, work it and trying to get on Amunet's uh like good side. Uh and then when he did lose his composure, I was like I was kinda laughing a little bit, but towards the back half is where, I mean, I get it, but I feel like it could have been handled a totally different way. Because ultimately, DeVoe did have uh, a big plan, and he did have, like, in his head, like, what he wanted to do, but he's been keeping it from his wife, which doesn't make sense because, I mean, yeah, his wife looking at him like, I doubt, but, I mean, it's like, why at this point is it like you're starting to grow conscious up until all the things that y'all have done? Like, I, I mean, I don't... I mean, I would have, I know it feels uncomfortable being in, like, her, her husband being in somebody else's body. But up until this point, like, they've really just, like, just gone with it. So it was like, I didn't know where it kind of started, but I did see towards the end, like, why? It was like, why kill this person? Like, that doesn't really make sense. That doesn't surface you in any capacity. And, it, and the other thing was, DeVoe didn't really explain why he killed that guy. He just kind of did it because he could. Um... And I don't know if it has something to do with the lingerings of the person that the body he jumped into or not. Um, the other thing is, like, whenever he goes into somebody's body and goes from somebody else, it's like, did that person die? Is their consciousness gone? Um, I'm left to believe that. There's a lot of unanswered questions because when he goes and puts his, you know, contraption on all of them, and I thought he was going to transfer his mind into all of them, say he transfers into one and he steals all the rest of their abilities. Do they die? once you know that machine transfers it into one being like what happens with the powers and the person is the person dead because i mean it could have been like in my head i was like dang it's a whole bunch of dead bodies everywhere like he just killed everybody and they're just sitting there left there he left with the one good you know meta uh or it's just unconscious without the powers. i really don't know and that's i think that that was a disservice uh to this episode because the episode to me could have been so much more um, just based on that premise alone. The other side of this is I thought that, you know, getting Barry out so quickly, um, it's just kind of like they're trying to speed something along where, honestly, I actually really dug Barry being in that situation longer. Or even if, like, you know, he did go out, like, give him a moment where he goes back to the cell and he's able to open up the cell on his own. Give us that, like, moment where he feels freeing where his dad didn't, like, you know, it just kind of like felt like it was like a rush moment, and it came in clutch because Ralph was able to morph into what he was able to morph into. 
And so by the end of the episode, they were all looking at Ralph. It's like, oh, where you next, son? And then, like, DeVoe does what he did to his wife. I was just kind of just like, this is a really good idea episode, but I don't know if the delivery was as good as it could have been. So this is where I was positioning in my head where it could go. And this, like, you can you can take it and run with the way you want to. I just, the way that I was thinking about it, I was like, DeVoe knows that the only way they're going to get out, he's already thought about it, is that Barry's going to get them and lead them out. <clears throat> He is allowing everybody else to trust Barry so that, you know, eventually he's going to jump into Barry. He's going to use Barry to his advantage. I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. So when by the time they get out, you know, Barry's going to go and try to save who he got to save and things are going to happen. But eventually DeVoe is going to get into Barry's body. Nobody's going to know and nobody's the wiser. And Barry's no longer in prison, but then he's no longer with their friends. And then the ultimate shocker literally somebody has Barry Allen's body and there's nothing that they can be able to really do about it and that's a trap in and of itself because then you got like this mental game where it's like does the consciousness of somebody else still reside while somebody else is in it like think like the sunken place and get out and so that's why I thought that this was going because I was like you know like the girl's gonna try to you know avoid it but really Barry's gonna get you know taken over by it because it's all it all seemed like it led up to that and um, it just didn't happen that way. And, it, and even on top of that, after everything happened, when Barry said, I'm going to go commit, go back in, I was like, okay, dang, that's messed up. But I see, you know, there's a reason why he's devoting himself to do that. Um, I don't know, it, just, it was just like a beat after beat after beat. It was a lot that happened in this episode. And I felt like they didn't take their time to just kind of just like let this go. It's okay for him to be in prison one more episode. And I just kind of positioned it in my head that, okay, if he's getting out, the only reason why he's getting out is because the role is going to get into him. Um, but I guess there's a bigger plan when it comes to Ralph. I don't, I don't get what more he needs from all of them. Um, but I guess if he had Ralph's ability, he could morph into whoever he wants to, as well as do anything he really wants to at this point. But... I felt like it was all about getting the perfect entity body, and I felt like Barry was that. You know, like, what what more would you not need if you had super speed? I, I, I don't know. I just feel like maybe it was the writing of how this is platformed, but I don't know. I think that they could have taken it a different way, and it would have been so much more self-satisfying and more fulfilling in a different kind of way. Whereas, like, with this one, it was a good episode, but I feel like it could have been a great episode. I feel like it could have been really different. Um, but anyway, I know I'm rambling. I, I only come out with all these things in my head and my heart because I really do appreciate and love the show. Um, I will be posting on my reaction at some point. I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna do that. But I'll talk to you guys later on. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Y'all have a blessed night. Uh, I guess episode 7.5 out of 10? Maybe? 8? Peace, guys.